Let's take a closer look at the True Blend control. You'll see that Conair has designed the control with you, the operator, in mind. First, switch the main power switch to I. This is the on position. After several seconds, the start screen appears. You will see both the blender and loader icons. Press the icon for gravimetric batch blending, the True Blend symbol, to open the True Blend status screen. Here you have access to the bin compartment setup. This screen allows you to assign a material type to each bin compartment. To assign material, press the respective bin icon. Once you press the bin icon, you'll see the setup component screen. This screen will require an operator level password. The TrueBlend control uses several different user levels. Levels 1 through 3 are password protected. Level 0 enables access to all guest functions. No password is required. Level 1 enables access to all operator functions. Level 2 enables access to all setup functions. Level 3 enables access to all service functions. For password levels, please refer to your user's guide. Here, any bin can be assigned to any material in sequence by pressing the left-right arrow. At this point, enter your percentages. A password is required. This is the percent of each material batch in the way bin. For a description of a mixing example, refer to the user guide section. Factory default settings have already been chosen for most applications. These include Position 1, Regrind. Position 2, Natural. Position 3, Additive Natural. Position 4, Additive Natural. Position 5, if applicable, Off. Position 6, if applicable, Off. You may choose to change the material type assigned to each bin. You can choose from Regrind, Natural, Additive Batch and Additive Natural and Precision Mode on the additive positions. The main valve positions 1 and 2 are the larger sized valves on all models. These are usually used for naturals and regrind. Positions 3 and 4 on 4 component blenders and 3 through 6 on 6 component blenders are small sized valves generally used for additives and colorant. Next you can enter the alarms settings which either triggers a warning or stops the blender if target weight is not reached after a set number of retries. Finally, you can enter the material calibration setting, which allows the blender to reach its optimal working point more quickly. In this step, material will be dispensed from the respective position for a one second interval and weighed. This teaches the processor the flow rate of the material in grams per second before you start to blend. Before you perform this task or start blending, be sure all bins are full. You are now ready for blending. We've just reviewed the basic setup controls. Now, let's take a look at some of the more detailed options of the True Blend. By pressing the blender icon, it takes you to the True Blend status screen. Here you can view each bin and see how it is configured. At the bottom of this screen, you will notice a set of navigation buttons. Settings, Help, Alarms, Back, and Home. Press the Settings button on the navigation section. In this section, you will be able to choose between the following screens. Reports, Manual Mode, Scale Calibration, True Blend Mode, and Batch Mode. Under Reports, you will see the following selections. Please note these reports are only useful if you have the True Blend Reporting Software option. Shift Report. The Shift Report records individual ingredients and total material usage during defined intervals. Input the start time and interval time. Batch Report. The Batch Report shows the average batch parameters of the last three batches at the end of the cycle. Recipe Report. The Recipe Report shows all available recipes including the type of material and the percentages of the various materials. Scale Report. The Scale Report shows the current measured weight with the current date and time. The next available setting is the Manual Mode. Under Manual Mode, you can manually operate material hoppers, weigh bins, mixers, test alarm beacons, and flow control valves on remote mount models. To check material hoppers, press the OFF button in sequence to check that the various material hopper valves can be opened and closed. 
In order to check weigh bins and mixers, you will need to press the first button to open and close the weigh bin. Press the middle button to switch the mixer on and off. Once you have viewed the manual mode screen, you can go to the scale calibration screen, which allows you to calibrate the load cells. Load cells are full weight calibrated at the factory. During shipment and or installation, minor deviations may occur. You may need to perform a zero calibration to set the scale at zero. A full calibration is only required after a fault, the replacement of load cells, or for scale certification. Remember, a calibration weight is required to do a full calibration. Consult your manual for further details. Let's walk through the process of doing a zero calibration. Make sure that the weigh bin is in place and empty before proceeding. Press the icon to open the zero calibration screen. Zero is displayed for actual weight. Input true blend model name is the next setting below scale calibration. This allows you to choose or change the blender type. This option is most frequently used when setting up a spare or replacement control. The true blend name allows you to uniquely name the blender for plant identification. Limits allows you to set minimum and maximum batch weight percent. The last screen under the setting screen is the batch mode, which sets a target weight to fill a drum or Gaylord. In normal operation, the blender will continue to make individual blended batches of material until the mixing chamber level sensor is satisfied or the blender is turned off by the selection button on the blender status screen. When placed in the batch mode, the blender will blend the current settings or recipe until the present batch weight is accomplished. It will then automatically stop. You can tell when the blender is in batch mode by looking at the button. When batch mode is activated, the gray button will turn green. We've now covered all the screens in the settings section. Let's now look at the remaining navigational buttons. The first is help, which allows you to find help on specific functions. Please refer to your user's guide for additional help functions. Next is alarm overview, which shows all the alarms that have taken place during the blending cycle. This register will hold up to 100 events before rolling over. There is the back icon, which returns you to the previous screen. And finally, the home icon, which will take you back to the opening screen on the control. Next, we will enter into the True Blend setup screen. The following selections are Mode selects Blender Operating Mode. Batch Weight sets the Weigh Bin Target Weight, which is default equals model number times 10 grams. Mix Time sets Mixer Run Times after a batch is dispensed. Interval sets time between motor jogs after mixing time has expired. Damping is the vibration sensitivity level setting. And dump time sets the time that the discharge valve remains open for material dump. These are all factory preset for optimal performance. The only two that may need to be adjusted are mode and batch weight. The operating mode allows one to choose between gravimetric mode, default, volumetric mode, or a combination of the two. The combination can be helpful if the blender throughput requirement is higher than originally specified. The volumetric mode can be used if you have problems with a load cell. The batch weight is optimized for the blender model. On occasion, when running high percentages of light bulk density materials, it may be necessary to reduce batch weight to accommodate the larger volume of the lighter material. The True Blend also makes it easy to set up a recipe. The convenient recipe feature allows you to store recurring production processes. Simply call up the recipe you want to rerun and start blending. The True Blend control can store up to 50 recipes. The True Blend recipe process is easy to use. First, assign an order number. Then, save the new recipe. It's easy to name your recipe and save it. Use the scroll arrows to select a storage location for the recipe. Once that is complete, assign a name for the recipe using the keypad. Press Save to complete the process. In addition, you can load or view a recipe by pressing the Open Folder icon and selecting a recipe from the list. The TrueBlend touchscreen control is fast, easy, and intuitive, designed with you, the operator, in mind.